three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. Yes, we know what just came today. It is the new, the new abysmal Foxy. Look at that thing. Doesn't it look super cool? I'm impressed with how they sketched this tower up. Look at all those diamonds. The abysmal pack and the exclusive abysmal Foxy for 999 Robux or 50,000 coins. I did buy one and so whenever you buy one with coins, then the price does jump up by 10k coins and I just had enough to make it. So that's really cool. You get the 250 coins, which is okay, the three souls, that, but you get the abysmal present. And so I would encourage you, if you don't have the 50k coins, probably try and grind for it because hopefully I'll show you today that it's actually pretty decent. And I think they fixed all the bugs. I did my live stream and I wanna thank everyone that joined the live stream today. It was interesting to say the least because of all the bugs. It was very, actually it was very frustrating. So just a heads up on that. And when I took a look at his stats, once I finally got him in my inventory, I looked at it and I was like, okay, some people were telling me it was a slowing unit. And I was like, okay, well it says slow right here, but then there's also a burst unit. I was like, well, does it do damage then? And Frosty helped me out. Make sure you go subscribe to Frosty. Frosty helped me out in my live stream because he was actually able to get the unit to show up in his inventory. I don't know how. Maybe he put in a cheat code or something. But anyway, it's a bursting unit and a slowing unit. And so I asked Hyper, does it do both? And he said, yeah, it does. So it's actually doing damage and it's actually slowing units down as well. But take a look at this. So it, the Withered Bonnie came to mind. And let's see, with Abysmal Foxy, the damage goes from 40 to 60. If you take a look at Withered Bonnie, the damage goes from 25 to 50. Now, I know I have Puppet's Nightmare on him, but at the same time, without it, Abysmal Foxy is actually better because it's doing more damage per second. Look at the cooldown, 0 0.05. Cooldown is 0 0.05 as well. And it's just, I was like, whoa, this is a better Withered Bonnie. Because not only does it do more damage, which which attributes to more damage per second because the cooldown is the exact same, but it actually slows or supposed to slow other enemies down. Let's go ahead and try and enchant this thing. I don't know if I'll have you sit on through this enchantment or not, but I mean, I, and it actually won't take very long either. I'm running out of souls, but at the same time, let's see what we get. Here we go. I ended up getting withered on the new Abysmal Foxy, and I'm going to keep it. Withered is just fine. Let's take a look at the new stats now. Come on, click on them. And Wither, remember, does a 25% damage increase. It also increases the range and it takes the cooldown down by about 20, well, by 25%. So I don't think we're gonna use, let's get rid of, let's get rid of Withered Bonnie. We're gonna unequip that and then we're gonna place in the Hawaii Endo. How can I find it? I don't, oh look, there's a search bar. Hawaii Endo. And I'm going to use the one with Puppet's Nightmare, the shiny one. Someone gave that to me yesterday, so I appreciate that. And uh, was that Busy? I don't know. If, did Busy give me that one? I think he did. So Busy hooked us up with that. And we're going to use this team down here. And let's go check him out, see if he's any good. The 2.5 rewards luck for game two, night five. We're going to do that. I'm going to try Nightmare Mode. Not sure if I can beat it, but let's see. This is a pretty difficult map. And I think I want to turn auto skip off for this one, at least to start. I'm going to place down my Shadow Patriot Freddies here. They're going to be really important in gaining some money. And then on top of it, I'm going to put down that Hawaii Endo right here. And then let's place down my booster right over here. So look at that booster covering, Hawaii Endo's covering. Really, really nice. And that's just, it's going to help out so much. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the skip waves off. And let's see, can we get there? Come on. I'm, it's okay if I leak a little bit. But we should be able to... There, we didn't leak at all. It's because of that range. I'm telling you, it's because of the range. I'm going to put a skip wave on once I get down a couple more units here. Let's go. $1,200. One hit. There we go. Fully maxed out. One more Patriot Freddy to fully max out. And then I'm going to upgrade my booster. And then I'm going to upgrade my Hawaii Endo so we can get the maximum amount of range for all of my towers. Let's skip wave one more time. I do need to get to 10,000. Are these faster enemies coming out yet? There, Endo's fully maxed, and now I need to, this Hawaii Endo. I need to fully max, fully max him out, and yes, there we go. All right, let's get down. I need $10,000 now. 10,000, I'll place this one right here. And look at that range already. That's insane. That's really, really nice. <laughs> look at that. He's literally covering, 
Come on. There we go. Completely maxed out. We're going to go ahead and put Skip Wave on now. All right. And I do want to put down one more Marionette's Puppeteer just so he can cover everything in this gigantic rectangle here. And then I am going to start to place down the new Abysmal Foxy. I'm going to place my Abysmal Foxies right here in the middle. And we're going to be just fine. And one more upgrade. There we go. Now, Abysmal Foxy is pretty expensive. So it costs 15000 to start, which is definitely less than Withered Bonnie. But look at this. The range actually is really low. And let's upgrade him to 30. And he should be within range of my... Ho oh, he's not in the range of Hawaii Endo. Hawaii Endo, what are you doing? Come on, that's just silly now. There we go. Look at that. Much better. Much better. Let's get to 40000 for the next upgrade. Because we're going to need that range. Range is going to jump up about 10. Look at this. Now he's covering. And I'm leaving him on first for now. I thought about it. What's going to be the best targeting for Abysmal Foxy? Is it going to be first, last, closest, or strongest, or weakest? I'm just going to go first for now. Because these enemies are a little bit slower. And even when he does attack, then he's going to start slowing these other these enemies down. So 50,000. And then finally 75,000. Look at that range. I could potentially put him on... I could go strongest as well. But I think I want to leave him on first. Let's place another... Man, they're taking up a lot of real estate here. And this Hawaii Endo is... Look at that Hawaii Endo. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. That was Abysmal Foxy. Where's Hawaii? No, there he is. Right, I just want to make sure that my Abysmal Foxies are within range. So completely maxed out again. Let's see. Oh, look. Do you see the ice? Did you see the ice cube above him? That means that that enemy slowed down. Oh, that's cool. I didn't notice that when Frosty... I was doing the showcase with Frosty. That's really good, actually. That's really cool, if you will. All right, that's okay. No, I got to stop. That was really bad. And he does this burst damage... So he's not always attacking, but when he does attack, it's completely obliterating these enemies. Let's place down my last. Okay, place, place down my last Abysmal Foxy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to level him up, but he is he slowing down the boss? Is there an ice cube above the boss? There, I don't know. I'm trying to look. I don't know if there is or not, but I need to get the 75,000. And come on, huff and puff and take out that corrupted soul, Freddy. I'm trying to see. I don't know. I wonder if Withered Bonnie... I, I don't know. He's supposed to be better than Withered Bonnie, though. I think we're going to be just fine. He's going to take the long way around. But based on the stats alone, it should be better than Withered Bonnie. Now, it is more expensive than Withered Bonnie, for sure. There we go. Completely maxed out. And now it should be game over relatively quicker. Even if he turned the corner here... The game would have been done. So I don't know if he slows him if he slows a boss down or not. Oh he does. See the ice cube on the back? Alright, so the ice cube is in an awkward position, but he is slowing this boss down. And it's done. Let's try the same thing with Withered Bonnie. We made it to wave 15, and I have two of my Withered Bonnies completely maxed out. Trying to compare to see which one is better. Withered Bonnie or the Abysmal Foxy? I think Abysmal Foxy is better, but we're going to really find out when the boss walks through the entrance here. And on the path, we ended up winning, what was the boss? About right over here last game. And I was able to upgrade all three of my Abysmal Foxies, which I don't think I'm going to have an issue with the Withered Bonnies as well. There we go. So all three Withered Bonnies are maxed out. We have a few enemies left to take care of, and then the boss is going to come out. So we're going to find out here. Let's see, almost done, and Zombie Shadow Freddy is gone. Here comes the boss. It's a Corrupted Soul Freddy, and notice the beams from the Withered Bonnie. They're consistent all the way through, where Abysmal Foxy, it was a, what would they call it, a burst beam. So it wasn't attacking all the time, but it was bursting, which is pretty cool. So the boss did get to about right over here, roughly. And let me see, the Puppeteers, the Marionette Puppeteers, yeah, they're targeting as well. And it's about halfway gone. The boss is not slowing down at all. So we're doing all right. I mean, they're very similar. And I think Puppet's Nightmare... This is Puppet's Nightmare as well that we have on Withered Bonnie. But no, look at this. Yeah, no, the Abysmal... I think the Abysmal actually wins. Because I think we end up getting this boss, the Corrupted Soul Freddy, right here. <laughs> And look at that, 1k coins. This is awesome. We're going to go back to the lobby. 
All right, everyone, let's finish this thing on up here. Do I think that the abysmal Foxy is actually worth it? I do. If you do not have Withered Bonnie, which I know there's units that are better than it now, but if you don't, and you can get those 50k coins, I would say it's worth it. For the Robux, eh, I mean, if you have 1,000 Robux laying around, I know not a lot of people do, but I would say try and get the 50k coins. You're like, Bean, I don't, I don't, that's so many coins. You have to do what I just did. You're gonna have to play those 2.5x maps, and that's, I mean, that's what I did a lot for a lot of games to get as many coins as I did. Now, I grinded 1-1 over and over again, but that's without the, the 2x, the 2.5x coins. So you really need to consider, you know, how much time, you can't just get stuff for free or not expect to put in any work and not reap the rewards. So that's what my suggestion is. Go ahead and pay the 50,000 coins to get this abysmal Foxy. Is it worth it? It is. It not only slows enemies down, let's use the search bar again, abysmal, but it also slows units down as well. And you can see from the ice cube above them, which I think is awesome that they allow, that the developers did that. So do I think it's worth it? Yeah, go ahead and get one of these. Is this the best DPS? No. Is it the best slow unit? Possibly. It's very expensive though, when you're talking about placements and or how much it costs to place and then how many to upgrade. But it's right along the same lines as Withered Bonnie anyway. So I'm gonna start using this one on my team instead of Withered Bonnie. That's just my opinion. And so if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching everyone. Hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.